Hey, welcome to my channel. We are going to reset this LG G Vista from AT&T only, okay? Uh, as far as Verizon, other carriers have the same model, but this one is for um, this uh, G Vista D David 631. Okay, phone must be powered off. Remove external memory card and SIM card to save some files. And you're gonna use it, you're gonna use the volume down and the power key, okay? You're gonna hold those two buttons to power on the phone. And it's very important here, as soon as the LG appears on your screen, please release the power button but continue holding the volume down just for one second. Just just release and press. Okay, in order for us to get the recovery menu. If at the first time you won't be able to get it, don't worry about it. Just remove the battery and start over, okay? Okay, so volume down and power key. Okay, volume down, power key. Release, press. There you go. Perfect, so I got it the first time, but sometimes I don't get it the first time, so if you didn't get it, don't worry, just remove the battery and start over. Remember, volume down power key okay as soon as the LG logo appears usually it takes two seconds for the logo to appear so in two seconds release and press okay and press properly because if you uh, miss uh, press with the volume up you, uh, the phone will power on instead of giving the recovery menu okay so once you get on this step just uh, using volume down uh, scroll to yes because we need to erase all user data restore default settings that's what we need to do so just uh, press the power key, press properly, uh, when you select the yes, okay? Then erase all user data, restore default settings, select yes, volume down, scroll and select uh, yes, and just uh, power key for enter. There you go, so now at this point, uh, the phone is deleting all information stored in it to reset to the default settings from the factory, okay? Um, all right, so it's gonna take a few minutes. It depends how much information you have and you stored in your phone. Okay, so just wait for. <coughs> okay, so we are doing this one because uh, your uh, originally your your screen was blocked with a pattern or a passcode or a Google account that you forgot the, the password um, so that's why we need to use the, the external buttons to restore in, in the phone okay and also uh, this is a secure way secure uh, to delete all information personal information like any uh, passcode passwords uh, emails uh, if you're trying to sell your phone as a used phone and uh, you don't want your information to get to other second hands so um, sometimes we usually just go to settings and uh, go to factory reset but uh, sometimes that's not a, a safe way to restore the phone so this uh, is 100% uh, secure so I recommend you to this one also this process calibrate the motherboard sometimes the phone gets stuck on the at and logo or Android logo and the phone doesn't fully power on or the phone just uh, sometimes uh, turns off simultaneously so that's uh, this process also calibrate the motherboard or your screen uh, went black or your screen got freezed and uh, sometimes this one helps also to fix the phone so um, I usually do is just go and, and change for a new one but well, if that costs you money, I think that's a, a good way to save you some uh, cash. Okay, so now we get to the main screen. So just hit OK. Uh, get started with at and if you already have an account. Uh, select the Wi-Fi. If not, just go to Next. Uh, exit anyway. And select uh, Google Location. It's very nice, very important to have that one. Just go to next, as you can select a passcode, your screen, set a home screen torch, or just go to next. And you are on the main screen, okay? 
right thanks so much for choosing my video and any other questions uh, please let me know and remember this one is only for AT&T LG other carriers is different like Verizon is only to press volume down and power uh, steady okay uh, until you get the recovery mode on the screen okay thanks so much uh, let me know if you have any other questions